Field of eight, on gate. Here they come. Darlin's Delight from the outside, Katie's Western, the favorite My Little Dragon just floating out there, letting the others leave here. Western Galley from the inside, bit of speed from Lonesome Day there. Between horses now settles in around the first turn. It's Jingra and Darlin's Delight. And the whip down on Katie's Western on the outside. Katie's Western surging now to challenge for Mike Lachance as they head to the quarter. Jammed up third there. Western Galley under snug hold to the outside. Lonesome Day fourth for Miller. Starts to surge and go up there with My Little Dragon under some whip taps past the quarter. Uh, then it's a myth Mythical on the rail, followed by Mommy Robin Q and uh, Caviar Sydney. First quarter, 27 and four fifths too wide down the back stretch. Lonesome day, a backside brush. Anxious there on the outside is My Little Dragon. My Little Dragon steps out on the outside and strides out and takes the lead. My Little Dragon, the heavy favorite now on the lead with Pierce leads it by two. Lonesome Day is second. Katie's Western third past the half. Darlin's Delight is fourth. It's Western Galley fifth. Mythical on the inside sixth. Underway is Mommy Robin Q followed by Caviar Sydney still trails 55 and one. On to the far turn at three to five. My Little Dragon stalked by Lonesome Day in the pocket as they round the far turn head for three quarters. Darlin's Delight commits a first over there with Jingra up to apply some pressure as My Little Dragon lets it out a notch again by two now. Looking to rebuff Darlin's Delight first over bid. Lonesome Day on the inside there and uh, roughly gated was Western Galley. Brennan trying to hold it together to the outside. Mommy Robin Q 124 well rated in that third quarter and My Little Dragon looks wrapped up here. Pierce uh, providing a bit of uh, urging though on the outside. Darlin's Delight Light, not done yet. In deep stretch here, My Little Dragon just keeping to her task. Darlin's Delight, then far back, Caviar Sydney rallies for a third. Back to back, Ron Pierce undefeated, six for six in the crowd. It's My Little Dragon who breathes fire here tonight over Darlin's Delight, Caviar Sydney, and fourth was Katie's Western in 152 and 1. 152 and 1 tonight for My Little Dragon in the crown, the matron stakes winner who set a world record in her elimination of the matron at Dover Downs on November the 5th. Making our third race presentation was our second race winner, Mr. George Siegel. So he's back there presenting a trophy after accepting one. George Siegel, Hamiltonian Society Director and, of course, the chief operator of Brittany Farms. Now the leading breeder in the Breeders' Crown and the leading owner. Repeat Breeders Crown here for Ron Pierce, Adam Victor Jr. and Senior both here. Ron, tell us a little bit about My Little Dragon. It's a powerful filly. Oh, she's special, boy. I tell you, she's got, she has a big big engine. And she can move her feet real quick. Uh, and, no, I'm not sure where her bottom is. Uh, tell us the early part of the race. You got away six. Take us to the back stretch there. Yeah. Um, we, got, we got away six. We had some live horses in front of us. They were mixing it up a little bit. Um, I could have sat there and, and did it either way, but I figured I had the best horse and I'll just take it to him. And um, she she won fairly fairly easy. Yeah. Darlin's oh, delight came after you. Uh, any serious pressure there with the six? No, not at all. No, not at all. This filly she got to the top uh, um, halfway down the stretch. She kind of got a little bored, so I just kind of had to peck her a little bit to keep her mind on what she was doing. Okay, Ron Pierce, seven of the last 14 Breeders' Crowns have gone away. Mr. Pierce, Mr. Adam Victor Jr., second Breeders' Crown this year. Mr. Muscleman, Mr. Muscleman over here, that senior that's known as Dad. What about my little dragon? You liked her from the start, right? Yeah, from the very day uh, Noel Daly bought her, we knew she was something special. Um, we planned on having seven starts with her. We didn't need a race last week, so it ended up only being six. But uh, all the credit goes to Noel Daly, who truly put this mare to a schedule and what we're most happy about is we think we've given her a good shot to be a good three-year-old so so you come back next year with her and then and, and expect the uh, solid season yes uh, she'll be turned out now and then she'll train down in Florida uh, with Noel Daly and then she'll come up probably again late not early in the season and we'll go for the three-year-old campaign Mr. Muscleman is he the horse of the year entering into tonight's action yes I believe he's the horse of the year I, I really believe it's a two-horse race between Mr. Muscleman and Rock and Roll Hanover that's it Adam senior two Breeders' Crowns the same year. What, what are you thinking right now? Uh, well, I think this is a great sport. I enjoy the sport, and uh, this, is a, this is a good year, and I hope to have other years like it. Okay, the Adam Victors are here in the winner's circle. Mr. Muscleman, they're back here with My Little Dragon.